Okay, hello all. Sorry about the mess, but I just wanted to show you the... Um, <clears throat> gosh, I got something in my throat. No worry, nothing <laughs> dangerous. I just ate like crackers and stuff. <laughs> so anyway, um, so this is M. And um, I thought that I'd go through... Just a second, I'll get to those. What has happened with my new... Um, order from Swerta. It's uh, obvi obviously it wasn't their fault. We just get this like cold spell during the Easter and everything was like uh, because of the COVID-19 everything is like the post office is jam-packed and everything so so they couldn't help it. Of course they could have like uh, send it later on but it's like didn't know that they actually were going to send it right away. I was, I thought they will will be sending them like uh, May, like we normally do get them. So, anyway, these are three of them, which are doing quite okay. They are now here because I didn't want to keep them constant in constant sunlight. So this is getting some morning sun, and that's it because of their cold spell but anyway before i start like cleaning off this all um so this is what is left of princess kayulani and that's gone come off from the stuartiana so both pa palanopsis couldn't make it i'm not sure might be that the stuartiana might do like cakey or something like that but that's like the newest leaf, so I'm really worried if there is some sort of like damage in the crown. Clearly with Storgiana it was, as you can see I was trying to fix it, but yeah, this just fell off today. Yeah, okay, I won't touch these because of, I was touching this with my hand and I, I really need to clean off this uh, desk because of these but anyway just a second i'll clean off my hands and this desk and continue talking about this and then i'm going to show you my new shelf unit so um, this is the dendrobium spectacular which i actually had um bigger one well, it's a cross. Uh, I'm going to show it to you when I go to the to the shelf unit or shelving. Yep. Um, so I've attached this quite firmly here because it's like I don't want it to move around, and it's it's got so little. If if you can see, the base is not that big, so. Yeah, just to secure it. Yeah, in that little coffee cup. You can tell that I don't have enough uh, decorative uh, pots to actually cover them, so I have to later on go and buy some. And this is the. Yes, it's Cattleya bovringiana. Red. So it should be a bit more, well, red <laughs> than normal Bovarian, uh, Bovarian, okay, that thing, so I'll show you, so there it is, not going to pronounce it for some other reason, my tongue is not going to twist into these words now, so I have um, secured it with this not on stick and it's a bit higher up in the pot as you can see because it's um if you look at it it's uh, pushing the new um new eyes quite low oh that's moving out as well yeah there so this should be really nice looking Especially if you're checking this out, it's uh, thicker than the, the other one. Well, uh, to my eyes at, at least. So, 
I would suspect that it's going to be a bit bigger and yeah this hasn't flowered yet okay then the next one I'm really going to be, I'm really nervous about this one um well the new roots seems to be doing quite okay some of them just avoided I could see that they have gone the tip is has gone like brown or dark or that sort of things uh, when they just die but as you can see some of them are pushing on and that wasn't so advanced as it was last time don't know how high this is going to be uh, the, and there are some of the pseudobulbs are still a bit low there don't know why but that's actually the reason why I decided to use this sort of like bigger bark so that this is not going to be yeah too wet underneath there I'll try to get it out of there at some point but yeah it was uh, uh, had some sort of like infection or something in a few of the pseudobulbs so I was really worried that it's going to be like dying like the other one which I had this is like um sorry I never told you what it is so it's Presa Cattleya Gyra Kiku so I had some Presa Volanodosa across uh, before it was something like um good day or Monday or a sunny day or something like that I don't remember I bought it from what yeah but anyway Larsen that's the place sorry I'm not that good now to remembering the names but yeah I'm hoping this is going to continue like this it looks good it's growing nothing seems to be wrong I'm hoping that it's it can survive and next I'm going to show you how I have fixed their shelves so I'll switch just a sec there there was before as you could see so it's sometimes so humid here that you can actually see so those strands because of the curtains which are were dropped down it just condensates on the windows and my Vanda is there enjoying its life <clears throat> yeah for some other I think this is so small that it actually needs pot and big bark in there so that shelving unit is going actually out and this one should go as well these are like the outside shelving units I'm thinking of one option here later on but this is just to give them now here so or that it's looking like it's like flickering or something uh it might be that i have that one back there i have this one light but yeah i have my rincostalis gigantia i think it was peach yes <laughs> this is my test thing Honestly, these are looking so horrible here that I'm just going to move everything into the paludarium or giving away or something like that. But these are not doing so good. So this is um, Sologeny Magdalene Usitana crossed with Fimbriata. They just don't like me or I don't know how to take care of them. Poor things. But yeah, I'll just move them there. Ignore them. I'm going to save them at some point. And this is the Kumingiana Hoya, which was from Klaassen. And this one I bought from local um, pottery shop. They actually have like plants and all, and it grew this one, and it's doing quite well. So it's Hoya Bobikelux. And there's my Bride and Joy, which is, as you can see, the it's actually growing higher the the thing which is going to get that brownie some sort of like sheath or something so basically as you can see it's higher than the previous one 
So that means that this is going to be big. So the leaf is going to continue growing it even longer. I'm not sure if I'm able to actually where I'm going to put it after it becomes huge. But yeah, now it's there trying to enjoy life and I'm going to move it out. And the next one here is my Oncidium uh, sh Sugar Baby or Baby Sugar. I have the name uh, sign in the other one which I have there, so I'll tr try to find it. This is, um, yeah, well, one of these. I never uh, remember it in, I remember it in Finnish, sorry. And there you, I have, this is Mykens, so this is Philodendron, trying to climb out of the pot or something. I think I need to figure out something for it because it doesn't like to hang. As you can see, it's climbing up. And here I have my big cat layers. As you can see, I don't have enough big pot. I'm taking this out of every now and then when I can find a place where it's not it's okay that it's like, it won't fall off. As you can see, this is the king of Taiwan, Hong Da Xin or something like that. And I'm unable to, but if you, if you take a look, this is my hand, so they are quite big. And there's my Hanepopo, Rachmapidium. There's a new growth. It's getting quite a lot of light there. Um, this is my Cattleya something something. Yeah, that was the green witch, which uh, was supposed to be green witch. No witch. Oh, <clears throat> anyway, it's the green witch, the place where the time is measured, the zero hour and stuff like that. So yeah, for some other reason they have missed spelled that name so it sounds like it's some sort of horror movie or something but yeah it's growing it's got new bulb there and underneath there you can see i'm not going to move it there is so many huge things there so that if i want to move something i need to move everything this is the new oncidium which i had there is my other um, lacacia cuprea and yeah i'm giving them that much light and they love it. And this is my green dragon king, Sunya green green dragon king, and that's also quite firmly attached to the pot. And yet again, I have two small pot, but I had to put it somewhere so it won't fall off, because as you can see, those are huge. And now moving down. Um, that's turned off now. And here, this is just a shelving unit where I put some extra things. Now I have that Hoya. That was Crimson Princess, but it was reverted, so I cut it off. Those are some tools. Tools. And this is my re reflector. Oh, gosh. Diefenbach, yeah, that's the one. And this is my peace lily. Um, it has like some fancy name too. The leaves supposed to be having this whitish mark. There you are. Ah, silver cupido. That was the name. I'm always thinking about the domino, but I don't have the domino. That's the silver cupido. I'm always forgetting it. But for some odd reason, well, it's getting a little bit that silvery thing, but it comes up without it. So I'm not sure if it's like growing these leaves. And I think I have messed up a bit the watering at some point. Okay, silver potters. This have this is synapsis, I think. Picture or something. But yeah, the basic one that you guys know, don't remember the name. Oh, it's easy, that's the one. Sammy 
portfolio semi cloud or something similar yeah okay moving on <clears throat> so now you can see the new shelving unit uh that light is really annoying but it's what i have there and i'm going to keep it there um yeah now you actually can see something so i have my the late uh, late um hoya crimson uh, queen which almost died on me i think i have like three strands there which i was managed to save i'm hoping they are going to actually get roots and start growing but yeah it's down there trying to get some sort of light but not too much and keeping the humidity <clears throat> This is an orchid, uh, Phalaenopsis. I think I bought it from Ikea, and so it's it's just there hanging on. I'm waiting it to actually grow some roots. It never does that, <laughs> but I'm still hoping after three years it's gonna roots. <clears throat> okay, now you can like peer pressure. See, I'm showing you them uh, to them. They are going to tell you better start growing. So I'm going to show you again, or whichever way it would be better. I can threaten you to show you again or something. Okay, my little... Oh. Okay, so let's start from here. So Paphiopedalums. So this is Naivium. They are going to be that small. It hasn't grown anything, but Paphiopedalums are slow, so... I'm letting it be. This one, I don't think it has heard or got the memo about being slow. Don't know. But yeah, that's... And that came with it. It hasn't done anything. It just stays like that. Okay, fine. G good to you. <coughs> Sorry. Um, that's the newest Bafia Beetle. Uh, De Berle, I think was the name. I cut off the bloom and it's just chilling there need to have new pot okay and this one i'm not sure if i'm going to keep it any longer this is phalaenopsis violacea blue it doesn't grow it grew that leaf and that's it last year it has some modeling on some sort of like yeah, probably some pests have been there and yeah, that was the only growth. That was last summer, and that's it. And these are some Dendropium Phalaenopsis type. I think that one was banana chocolate, and this one was... Ooh, what was it? It was some Thai black or something. Okay. My Trio Star, which I think we finally have found something like... I think it's now liking me. It's growing new things. It's not browning any more of its leaves. So yeah, I think I found the soft spot with these ones. So the thing is, in, in my environment, which is a bit uh, more humid, I think I'm going to try to buy next month. But uh, the uh, thing which is going to measure it, so then, yeah, well, anyway. So you actually know what sort of environment I have. But anyway, this is like... Uh, I don't let it... When I measure it with that uh, stick, I don't let it go uh, below 4. So I'm going to uh, water it when it's 4 and 5. With the moisture meter, that's the word. So then it stopped browning up. So I don't let it go to dry. It's going to be evenly moist all the time okay i'm so going to be buying myself a uh something to measure the quantity of uh, stuff sorry i was mis distracted uh so what sort of like uh how much i'm going to uh, i'm actually giving them fertilizer so TDS meter slash EC meter, I need to get that one because uh, I don't know what's, uh, what I'm doing wrong. 
of course the last time I could explain it with the well it's grown a bit but yeah was that the me media was bad this time if this isn't growing bigger than that one I'm really surprised of course I did do the exchange the pot when this was still young so it might little bit like effect but yeah i don't know what i'm doing wrong with oncidums i need to show you something else but i'm going to figure it out this summer don't worry okay there's philodendron again i think this might have like different name nowadays but it used to be scandens it's this uh glossy because i have this um this uh cocktail what i do myself which actually um, repels any bugs wanting to actually munch. They'll just drown into this like oily thing. <laughs> I'm really a lovely person. Yeah, but that's like preventing it. I learned that cocktail from Miss Orchid Girl. So if you want to, um, if you want to try it, uh, it's really easy to do yourself. So just uh, go and watch her video. She has had uh, plenty of bug problems, so that's why I started using hers as a pre preventative measure. And this is my Ringo, Ringo Stylus Gigantia Red Spots. I'm just uh, testing these, these and uh, and the uh, Vandas in order to actually have a, like, do I. Can I actually provide them with that sort of need what they have? Mm. Uh, that's my Stanhopia de Grino. That bulb is going off. But that was the la latest bulb it uh, grew. Um, it's quite big. It's also quite dark because it was close to the light. I don't know what has munched it, but I just cleaned them really well when they came to me. But they have been outside of the uh, paludarium now, so I'm just checking how they are. And um, this one, Jenny Shiana, it's growing a new growth. You can see down there that little thing. It's still looking really like uh, wrinkled, but I'm hoping that that one and this one are, are going to like get some roots in. I have the other one in inside of the paludarium still because it didn't have any new growth so I didn't want to risk it. I want to give give it to my sister or something the other one so yeah. And this is my Hoya and of course I don't remember Carrie that was the name I'm just really like tuned into Sorry, you weren't in there. Focus. Focus. So the curry, it's growing new growths, as you can see. That's the new leaf, which I took the pictures. This poor thing has suffered a lot. I have been like banging it everywhere. I need to figure out something new for it. But for the time being, it can be there. These new leaves came last. As you can see, they are not fully fully opened yet but yeah this is empty because i was washing <laughs> i'm uh, flushing my pot so i'm trying to get the rinsing off the any salt buildups of my orchids uh this is my bellina is it yes uh bellina red apple phalaenopsis so this is summer uh blooming type and it's actually um uh, it's a species phalaenopsis if I remember correctly and these are some things which you usually get in this multi uh, like there is like these sort of things are behind these big bushy things which that one isn't but anyway okay so then <laughs> this poor thing is my philodendron imperial red and i'm not sure what it's doing it just like it had like five leaves or something three three of them died oh i need to clean off that i 
think there is something. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and this one, I don't know what's wrong with it. It's not like it's like a shrivel that new growth. I don't know what's bothering it. I need to take a look. Might be something with the root system. But yeah. So that's uh, Philodendron Brazil, I think. Just fix. Uh, to let me know if it wasn't. Oh gosh, I need to clean that wall. Good that I've noticed it now. <laughs> okay, so this is my crinkle lake. It's doing as normal. Those are the latest leaves. It was growing something from here and it's still growing. It just grows. It's Hoya. It's growing something there as well. I don't know what, but yeah. I'll... Oh yeah, that um, that green thing. I'm. I have attached the light with it on the here because I didn't want to risk it that I'll just put some uh, tape or some like uh, scotch tape or anything like that. So I I really wanted to make sure that the light is really well attached to the to the um, shelf unit so that they won't like uh, fall off. I have this also the same measures might actually come up with something else uh, later on but yeah I just don't want them to fall on to my plants please. Oh yeah sweet sugar it was Oncidium sweet sugar. So this is the back bulb division of that one which was on my window and I was trying to tell about it. I don't know, it's just growing, doing stuff. That's a cutting from my Schomberger. I think that's Trancata or something like that. Um, Thanksgiving Gactus, I think it's called. We call it Christmas. But yeah, they are just sitting there in my wine glass. Um, this is growing new canes. I'm hoping that they are going to be, these new ones are going to be bigger one. So this is a uh, Dendrobium uh, nobile type, which you usually get from the flower shops. For some odd reason, they cut off these old bulbs, as you can see, like that. And that's crazy because then happened this. The new canes are going to be this small and I'm not sure when they are able to actually bloom next time. Of course, I, I thought that there was some box there, but it was just some perlite. Okay, um, this is the Dendrobium Spectabile cross with Dendrobium Macrophylla. And I don't know, it's just, well, it grew that new leaf and bulb. There is new one coming there. There was a new one somewhere there, that one bit greener and here are my sister's cacti and that's that one is going to bloom at some point it's actually not cacti uh, it's there's only one cactus and then there's this I'll come right out of it uh, I'll figure it out at some point uh, this is banana split so the mother plant it's growing new growth it's still uh, finishing off this. I don't know why it hasn't flowered yet. It should should be because the well the canes are not that big, so maybe it's that reason that it need to have like bigger canes. Uh, this is only thing left of um, uh, yeah brass brassia, which uh, like I bought last. Uh, winter at the show from Makake and for some odd reason it has this I don't know what it is but I'm going to actually do something about it weird oh there is my golden potters from my mom it's just I think it needs watering next that's some tolumnia not tolumnia it's something else. Wait, Oncidium. Yeah, Oncidium Chirac. Oh, sorry. Chirac fragrance. So that's growing. 
there somewhere. Oh, I'm going to put it later. Um, that's some dendrobium again. Been on little Maggie. Uh, cross with Dendrobium lasianthera. I haven't found this Penang Little Maggie, so it's th there's only Penang Little Star. But I don't know, maybe it's a new cultivar the Penang Little something has, but they haven't like registered it yet, so that's why. And this is uh, like um, this I cut off from that one. Don't know when they are going to actually fl uh, flower, but it was like it was really difficult to report, so I just cut them off, and that's about it. So yeah, it's still growing. You can see the roots. Everything is like yeah, succulent. That's the word. That's succulent. <laughs> okay. So this was the new shelving unit. I'm quite happy with it. I could have bought like a bigger one, but I'm probably going to buy something else there. Might buy one of these again and just place it there, like shorter or smaller shelving unit. But yeah. And here I need to figure out something else. Don't want to lose this lovely sun, which I have now. It's going across there, so yeah. Oh, sorry. That was too fast. <laughs> I feel really horrible. Okay, I hope this is, hasn't been like shaking too much. And thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.